Hi, this is Erin and I'm going to show you how to change the controller in a program called WeBots. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up my the appropriate world file. So this world file is going to have a now robot with the default controller now key sim. It may take a few minutes to load. So One way that you can tell that it's the now key sim controller is that he'll be in this um, initial stance with his arms out. So if we look over here, now key sim is ready. That our now key is ready. That kind of just tells me everything's working well. We have these two views. This is the top camera view. That's the bottom camera view. And to change the controller. We simply go to the object tree, expand now, and then hit controller. I'm going to sit select, then hit OK. This is the one I want, it is now auto movement. And I actually already have the code. You can see when we first add it, because now is in that initial stance, it kind of rocked. Because the first stance for this this controller is expecting is now with his knees kind of bent in order to walk. So he is going to walk forward, and I'll show you where that happens in the code. It's quite a long piece of code. It's in C. So I just have a for loop that now will pause. He'll walk forward, and then he pauses. This pause makes it so that the action is completed, because without it, he would just do all of these. He would walk forward and wave at the same, basically the same time. I mean, it is sequential, but it would be at the same time. Then the next part is now, it waved his hand. Now I'm going to um, make him move forward, and this didn't work exactly right. Sometimes I don't know why um, it's, the program is a little bit slow. It could be because I'm doing this screencast, but we'll see if it works. So I'm going to press the so yeah, so it worked kind of the third or fourth time. He's slowly going to kind of shuffle to the right. <laughs> um, he does about two steps. I can interrupt it and um, make him do the next command, which I'm going to have him wave now. And it's supposed to read in when it does that. That's the ASCII key for, I think, the the left arrow key, and now we want it to take the input. So yeah, there it goes. That's the W key. He's waving. Um, and the other thing I can do is do a shift and And a turn. So I might have to. So that is the shift and turn. I'm not sure why it's not accepting the. So this is him turning 120 degrees to the right. So that's just a little demo. I can show you the. Yeah, so here's all the cases that it'll sh shift between depending on the thing, and we added this, this hand wave motion. Alright, so there's the tutorial. Um, it's pretty simple, but I guess I had to wait around for things to work, but bye-bye.